We're about to hike Fern Canyon in the Redwoods National Park State Park. Ooh, this water is ice cold. This video is sponsored by Onyx Off-Road. We were just looking at the map and feeling a little uh, confused on where it goes, and I think it's because it doesn't doesn't really go anywhere. It's not like our Bryce Canyon hikes. I think we're just there, and it is so green. Mm. Those are raspberry trees. There are freaking raspberries up there. Why do you keep avoiding the water? Because it's really cold. <laughs> Got to do it at some point. Just I'm commit. In it. I think it's safe to say chacos or other hiking sandals. It's the safest way to do this. Everybody in boots is trying to hike on logs and falling over. It's not worth it. Just wear sandals. Okay, by the point that you reach this giant log, your feet will be numb. This water is ice cold, but you can't help but wander around the canyon because there's just something to look at every square inch of this thing. It is spectacular. As someone who plays with a camera all the time, I am struggling to show you just how pretty all of this is. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. And Hillary and I, we just keep giggling like around every corner, over every log, through... Like, look at this, this little trail I'm on now. This is something else. And just the way it like, it drips down. I, I wish I could show you how pretty this is better than I'm doing. And I'm so sorry. At this point, we have no idea if we've reached the end <laughs> because it's like a redwood graveyard. I'm gonna, I think, I think we keep going. I think I see where a, a path is. Got a spot of sunlight here. Warm your feet up. I know I'm stepping on things that I probably shouldn't be. And they're going into my sandals. But my feet are so numb I can't feel it. Ooh, and now we got bugs. Put the moss on the trees here. Holy cow. We have found some stairs. So I think we are leaving the canyon to do the second half of the loop. There's a sign on a construction bollard thing up here. Fern Canyon Trail Loop. This is it. And there you have it. We just finished the Fern Canyon Loop. That was spectacular. I say if you have the time to do it, you should. You do need a permit in advance. And uh, I don't know, Hillary knows all the pricing stuff. What's the story? <laughs> so it's $12, but if you have the National Park Pass, they take that, so. Easy peasy, you just have to go online and do it beforehand, but they just had our name on a list. There isn't cell service up here, so you can't pull anything up, but our name was on a list. And we just <laughs> drove right in. That being said, you do need cash if you do want to pay. With Fern Canyon checked off the bucket list, we are back in the Bronco, heading south through the redwood groves, stopping only to wave at a hungry black bear. Every redwood grove down the 101 is breathtaking, but none forced us to pull over 
like the Avenue of Giants. So we're just driving our way south on the 101 and decided to pull into the Avenue of Giants. And I found a tree whose trunk is bigger than the Bronco. This is insane. This is, California has some crazy stuff. And these enormous gigantic trees, they're on that list. I think I just heard an Ewok. So I'm over here shooting B-roll of Major Tom in that giant redwood and it looks like one of these had a fire in it or something. So I'm gonna see if I can't go inside of the tree. Oh, I can. Sweet. Look at this. It's like the size of a shed. Oh, it's quiet in here. I'm in, I'm in a redwood. I wonder how hollowed, I wish I had a light on me. Oh, I do. It's called a cell phone, Justin. Oh, it's like 14 feet. Pretty cool. Well, I came here to the drive through tree and the sign says they close at sunset. That is the sun not set behind me, but they are clearly closed. So not gonna get a drive through the tree today, which is a bummer. because I wanted to see if the Bronco could fit. Guess we'll have to save that for another time. And we are leaving the 101 to get on the one. I love Highway 1. There's no way you can't love Highway 1. But this is it. We get to say goodbye to the 101. <laughs> Let's go Highway 1. As we leave Highway 101 and finally start ticking the miles southbound down Highway 1, I need to thank Onyx Off-Road for the remainder of this video. I've been using Onyx Off-Road for years and you're about to see why. I found this upcoming camp spot with Onyx while I was preparing our entire Pacific Coast Highway trip. I'm the kind of guy who would rather teach a man to fish, so let me show you how I found this insane camp spot. When you open Onyx Off-Road, you'll see over half a million miles of map trails. The ones you really need to pay attention to are the blue routes. These will have all kinds of information from trail ratings, photos, expected drive time, and even the current weather. The blue routes have cut my route planning by hours, and I swear, I found this spot after a simple scan in the app. Anybody can do it. If you want to join me in finding insane routes, check out Onyx Off-Road. The link in my description will save you 20% and you'll get a free seven day trial. There's a lot of summer left before snow starts falling and trails begin closing. Get on it, hit that link in my description. This was supposed to get us to camp, but there's a sign that says area closed for restoration. I think there might be another way, just a little way up the hill from here that bypasses. Perhaps it's just this first like quarter mile that is closed for restoration. So I'm gonna go back, see if we can't get into this camp area another way. If not, we're gonna continue down the one and hopefully find us a spot to camp somewhere. I don't know. Sun still hasn't set yet, so we've got time.
I do know these guys. It's AJ. Good news, we made it to the beach. We've got the tent set up. I just had to get it done quick. The wind's kind of blowing. I'm hiding behind my door, but I'm gonna go to another wind block real fast. It's just over here. Just run on over. Oh, yeah, this will this will be a good little wind block. Yeah. Uh, it's just a it's a big old PXL. This is this is AJ's. This is Photo Runners PXL and camper. Wind. Wind block. Funny how that works. So that was pretty awesome meeting up with AJ and Jackson as they cruise by. We learned a lot about beach camping last night. Being from Utah, we don't get to beach camp very often. And let me tell you, the wind, holy cow, the wind. I did not sleep that great. I'm a little hoarse now. Uh, I think it just, it wore me out and that's why we woke up and made some comfort food. Unfortunately, this is where our trip down the coast ends. It was unexpected, but as we crossed the Golden Gate Bridge into San Francisco, I tested positive for COVID. So we had to make a really just the split decision and mandatory decision to drive home. And it took me two weeks. I had to heal up and get better and, you know, go through that. It really sucked. It was my first time with it. And I'll tell you right now, I hated every minute of it. I wanted to be driving down the one, but we did what we needed to do. I got better and the adventure continues in Wyoming. So in the next video, we pick up not on the coast where I wish we did, uh, it's just the way it is. It's life, right? That's adventure. And we pick up in Wyoming at the Grand Tetons. So I really hope you'll join us for that one. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel. So if you stuck around this long, if you'll want to stick around a little bit more on the channel, 
please hit that subscribe button. Uh, the adventure continues in this video and I'll catch you there.